A very good morning to you. Welcome to morning prayer for Friday the 16th of April. How are you doing today? It's going to be another beautiful, bright, sunny day, I think. So I hope you're able to, at some point, enjoy some fresh air. Throughout this week, we've been doing morning prayer from the Methodist Worship Book and evening prayer from Methodist Way of Life. And uh, we'll do that today and tomorrow. And then next week from Monday, we'll be using the Celtic Daily Prayer Handbook and Celtic Daily Prayer for our morning reflections and uh, another resource in the evening. This is all part of the Methodist way of life that we've begun to look at once again for the next two or three months. And the first strand is about our worship life. And the first part of that is about prayer. We will pray daily and that works differently for each of us but this uh, morning and evening prayer is designed to help at least some of us get a rhythm and pattern into our praying so good morning if you're following in the methodist worship book uh, it begins on page five. O lord open our lips and we shall praise your name alleluia christ is risen he is risen indeed. Alleluia. The sentence from scripture for today, Friday. God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself and has entrusted us with the message of reconciliation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let's rejoice in the rock, our Saviour. Let us come and give thanks in his presence and greet him with songs of praise. The Lord is a great God, a king supreme over all. In his hands are the depths of the earth and the mountain heights are his. The sea is his, he made it, and the dry land was formed by his hands. Come, let us kneel and adore. Let us worship the Lord, our maker. He is our God and we are his people, the flock he leads with his hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And a morning prayer. Blessed are you, Lord, our God giver of life, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. At the opening of this day, you call us out of darkness into your marvellous light. Blessed are you forever and ever. Amen. Our scripture reading for today is from Mark chapter 16. We've spent most of this week reading Matthew 28, the account of the resurrection in Matthew's Gospel. And we move on now to Mark's uh, short ending to his Gospel. And then we'll look at Luke and John and the resurrection appearances. Just a, a, a couple of verses this morning from Mark 16, the resurrection. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so that they might go to anoint Jesus's body. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb and they asked each other, who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. We'll read on a little bit more this evening. I wonder what's on your heart as you join in opening prayer, morning prayer today. I watched the uh, first news this morning and of course uh, much of it is to do with the preparations for Prince Philip's funeral tomorrow. And 
the media seem to be making a lot about the fact that Princes William and Harry will not be walking side by side in the procession tomorrow. Uh, there are many of us praying that this time around Prince Philip's funeral might give opportunity for reconciliation, for uh, a closer a closer walk together. Um, I hope and pray that this isn't a, a deliberate move to keep the brothers apart. I don't imagine it is, to be honest. Um, but I was struck that our scripture for Friday said, God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself and has entrusted us with the message of reconciliation. Drawing people back together who've drifted apart. Reconciliation, humanity and God separated by sin and God acts in Christ to bridge the gap, to be reconciled with God as we leave our sins and we leave our past life at the empty tomb. And I was struck that we, we read, we see in this scripture, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome. We don't know an awful lot about these women, but they have been from, you know, undoubtedly different backgrounds, different experiences of life. They've been brought together through this experience, through their relationship with Jesus. And they are the first to the tomb that Easter Sunday morning. They've bought, it says here, with their money. They've paid for expensive spices and they're coming to anoint Jesus's body. And they're wondering how on earth they're going to get to his body. It's a bit different to um, Matthew's Gospel where two Marys uh, go to the tomb and, and it's presented as really as if they just want to be close, like you would visit a grave. But here there's an intention to actually get to the body and anoint the body, but they might not be able to get to the body because of this mighty rock in the way. Um, and again, the morning prayer this morning talked about uh, when we come to early morning, we are called out of darkness into God's marvellous light. And the women are walking through the, the dusk, the, well, the, the, the dawn mist, um, as the sun is rising uh, from darkness to light. It's symbolic, isn't it? And also that the tomb um, is a place of darkness, but the stone is rolled away, so light shines in. So just those two thoughts, really, as we come to God in prayer this morning about God's recon reconciliation with us through Christ and now this ministry of reconciliation that we have. How could we be involved today in, in praying for and acting for reconciliation, helping to bring people who've drifted apart back together again? How might that happen? Blessed are the peacemakers. Um, and then also asking, praying for God's light, a new dawn, a new day where there has been darkness. Maybe two great things to pray into, wouldn't they, at the start of this day. And we'll return to Mark chapter 16 this evening, half past nine on Facebook Live for evening prayer. So let's bring those thoughts to God now in our praying. And I'm on page 13 in the morning prayers from the Methodist Worship Book. So this morning, the start of this new day, let us offer our prayers with all God's people through Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Redeemer, our Reconciliator, who ever lives to pray and intercede for us. So we pray today for the needs of this world, that where there is darkness, the light may dawn and shine. We pray for the church and for the ministry of reconciliation drawing back together those who have drifted apart. How might we pray for and act today in a way that continues this ministry of reconciliation, of bringing light into darkness? And we pray today for all who are in trouble or distress. And maybe quietly now, we bring to God those we're thinking of who are going through really, really tough times at the moment.
and we pray for all who make a new beginning today. God of compassion and mercy, hear our prayer. May what we ask in Jesus Christ, your son, be done according to his word, who said, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be open to you. To you, merciful God, through your Son, in the life-giving Spirit, be glory and praise forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Just to be a little bit different uh, this morning, I want to have a go at singing the Lord's Prayer in, in a way that we learnt at Sunday school and at um, probably primary school. So it's going back a bit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, hallowed be thy name. Upon the earth as it is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread, hallowed be thy name. And forgive us all our trespasses, hallowed be thy name. As we forgive those who trespass against us, hallowed be thy name. And lead us not into temptation, hallowed be thy name. But deliver us from all that is evil, hallowed be thy name. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, hallowed be thy name, forever and forever and ever, hallowed be thy name. Amen, amen, it shall be so, hallowed be thy name. Amen, amen, it shall be so. Hallowed be thy name. Lord our God, as with all creation, we offer you the life of this new day. Give us grace to love and serve you to the praise of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for morning prayer this morning. Uh, I hope to see you this evening, if you're free, at half past nine on Facebook Live, just for a few minutes as we round off today and this week before the weekend um, in evening prayer. Wishing you a good day. Take care. Stay safe. Uh, be kind to yourself and to others. And God bless you as you seek to live for him, the ministry of reconciliation and bringing light into darkness. Amen.